What is up team, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode. We're here on vacation still. I've got my laptop. I'm not back home on my big setup with all my monitors because I've got my videographer here. So we're trying to, you know, get a couple episodes in. Uh, today we're gonna be talking about five reasons why traders lose money. By the end of this video, my goal is that you'll have more awareness when you enter the market and that you'll know what to avoid. And these are things that I wish someone had told me before I started trading. So with that said, let's hop on inside my computer and go over these five tips, these five things that you want to avoid as a beginner trader. All right, these are in no particular order. Uh, the first thing I'm going to talk about is revenge trading. Now, when you start trading, you're going to lose money. That's part of it. So when you lose money, the problem that a lot of traders deal with is the next trade directly after a losing trade, all they're focusing on is making back the money that they lost in that previous trade. Okay, so say I take a trade, I lose $100. Now this next trade I go into, I'm so concerned figuring out how I'm gonna make back that previous $100 that I'm not actually focusing on the trade, I'm just focusing on the money that I'm down. Once you start digging yourself into this hole, it becomes extremely hard to dig back out, okay? Because it's this cycle of, oh, lose a trade. I'm down $100. Now this next trade, I gotta make back that $100. I think you understand my point. Don't revenge trade. When you take a loss on a trade, move on. Forget about the last trade. Start with a clean slate, all right? And don't try to make back the money that you just lost. On to the second mistake that you want to avoid, and that is gonna be focusing on your PL, all right? Your profit and loss statements. I know some really good traders who look at their PL every month, all right? At the end of the month, they're gonna look and see, okay, how much should I make this month? Obviously, as a beginner, you're gonna to need to know how much you're making and losing so you can adjust your strategy and adjust your system. You do not want the focus to be on how much you're making. You want the focus to be on the trade itself. And I know it sounds cliche, but if you focus on the trade itself, the money will come. Don't say, all right, I'm entering this trade, I'm gonna to try to make $500, and if I make $500, I'm a great trader. And if I you know, lose 500, whatever your stop is, say 250, you're risking 250 to make 500, if I lose $250, then I'm a terrible trader. Look at the setup. Say, all right, I'm looking for this to happen and I'm gonna cut losses if it doesn't. Focus on the trade. Don't keep checking your P&L throughout the day because it's gonna go up and down, up and down. And that's another thing you wanna avoid, which is riding that P&L roller coaster, that profit and loss roller coaster, because during a trade, you're gonna be up, you're gonna be down. You can't let yourself and your emotions ride that P&L roller coaster. Stay focused on the trade, have your plan in place. Another very, very important topic, still part number two is don't look at the stock market as a lottery ticket, okay? A lot of people think the stock market is just the way to get rich. The stock market is not a get rich quick scheme. Indeed, it's gonna take a lot of hard work, time and effort and money spent in order to learn. Okay, approach the stock market as an opportunity that may lead to being able to leave your job and may lead to financial freedom, but don't make that the center focus and don't get disappointed when you're not making millions of dollars your first week of trading. The third mistake to avoid is going to be style drift. Okay, now style drift is when you learn one strategy, say you watch a YouTube video, you try that strategy out for a month and then, oh, it's not working. Well, I'm gonna hop over to Reddit and find another strategy or another moving average and I'm gonna try that. And then a month goes by, it's not profitable. Oh, well now I'm gonna go buy this course and try that. Stick to one strategy. Find one strategy and stick to it. It's gonna take time to become a profitable trader, to find success trading. Now, for me, I know this community is called the daily traders, but the majority of my positions are actually swing trades. So I am buying a stock today and I'm selling it tomorrow. Or I'm buying a stock today and I'm selling it in a couple days. Because that day trading, which is buying a stock now and selling it in a couple minutes or buying a stock in the morning and selling it at the end of the day, that day trading is not what has worked with my personality type. I find it easier for myself and for my strategy as well because it all comes together. Swing trading is where I've found the majority of my success. It's also less time consuming. There's less effort that I need to put into trading where I don't have to be staring at my computer eight hours a day. I can spend an hour in the morning and an hour at the end of the day and that is typically my trading day. I'll spend two solid hours a day on my computer and that is probably my average trading day outside of running the mentorship group. Now, I do offer a mentorship group. I give students the ability to copy my exact trades. I'm actually up over 250% year to date on my callouts. Uh, with an 88% win rate. If you'd like access, the first link will be in the description. Um, and I'm also gonna give you my trading system. 
All right, we're gonna break down exactly how it is that I'm finding these trades that I'm calling out, and you're gonna be able to do the same thing. It may not work for you. Again, like I mentioned, you're gonna have to give my system time to see if it works with your personality and to see if you're able to find success doing what I'm doing. Just because it works for me doesn't mean it's gonna work for you. On to number four. Do not be afraid to lose money. You have to approach trading knowing that you are gonna lose money. If you start with $1,000 in your portfolio, consider that $1,000 already gone okay make sure that you don't need that money that you're trading with in any way you have to remove the emotion from your trading one thing I want to briefly mention is it is going to help a lot if you have a mentor I'm not just saying this because I have a mentorship group but the learning curve when it comes to trading can be exponentially expedited when you have a mentor say your learning curve is three years when you're just trading on your own but when you have a mentor it might only take you a year to become a profitable trader if you're looking to avoid a lot of the struggles when it comes to trading starting out as a beginner and losing money to figure out what works and what doesn't invest that money that you would otherwise be losing into a mentorship program whether it's mine or someone else's there's plenty out there that is offered and you can find a lot of this stuff on YouTube. The problem with YouTube is that if you do not have every single piece of the puzzle in a trading system, it's not gonna work, all right? You're not gonna become a profitable trader. There are a lot of free resources out there, but no one is gonna fully give you everything you need to become a profitable trader for free. That's just how it is. And last but not least, the fifth thing that you wanna avoid as a trader is taking too many trades at once. It sounds basic, but just focus on one trade. I see a lot of traders and they'll come to me asking, all right, what is it that I can do to improve my trading? I'll ask to look at their portfolio and I'll see that they'll have five, six, seven, ten 10 trades on at once. Even if you have a trading plan for all 10 of those trades, you only have so much brain power. You can only focus on so many things at once and the least amount of trades you have on the better because you're able to put your energy and your focus into that trade. The other thing is, okay, you'll have one trade on, you'll have another trade on, one trade's a winner, this trade's a loser. All right, you're flat. Just focus on one trade, you don't need 10 trades on. And when it comes to that trade, I want you to create a trade plan. Now every trader should know exactly what they're gonna do depending on what happens. You wanna know exactly when you're gonna cut for a loss, when you're gonna take profit, what happens if the stock is trading flat, right? You want to be aware of all the scenarios beforehand. So again, you're removing that emotion out of the picture. You've already come up with a plan ahead of time and then you're not gonna be making emotional decisions on the run and in the moment. As a little side tip, don't sweat the entry. Don't rush into trades. Take your time. Take your time to develop this trade plan before entering and make sure that you know every scenario and every outcome and what you're gonna do in each one of those outcomes. Without a trading plan, it is going to be extremely hard for you to become a profitable trader. And that is gonna conclude the fifth and final thing you want to avoid as a trader. I hope you are a little more informed after listening to this, when you get out there, when you start trading, or if you are trading right now, try to implement these suggestions into your practice. We're gonna get on with the day. Again, this series that we film once a week, it's one day a week of my life. So whatever I'm doing that day, uh, we're gonna record whether I am documenting a trade in real time, whether we're going out and driving around in my car, working out, whatever it is, or a tutorial, uh, we're gonna document it. So let's get on with the rest of our day. All right, that is gonna conclude today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. We're just taking a nice walk out in the park at sunset after a really awesome day. So if you're new again, please subscribe, smash like. And with that said, I will see you all in next week's episode. Later. Ha 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 ha.